Hey, Mike. Hey, what's up, man? We have something I've been wanting to have on the channel for a while. Not this particular beer, but Sam Adams, because we love a good Sam. Yeah, traditionally, yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> traditionally yeah we love a good sam um this is sam adams holiday white ale um it it comes in six packs right you said yes okay i got mine in the mix pack um but it's a seasonal release limited release um ale brew with I, spices i'm yeah almost finished my second 12 pack of the season <laughs> really yeah true story it is it is a really good beer like so i've had it, it once mike's had it seventeen thousand times <laughs> Uh, probably 21 or 22. Oh, that would make sense. Yeah. 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 So is this supposed to be the regular white ale with spices? No. no. Yeah, maybe. maybe. <laughs> I mean, when I was, I was at the brewery a couple of years ago, I, I told you this via text, but yeah. to be fair, um, we were there, uh, me and my brother, <clears throat> we, we, we were going like every weekend for a while, but when you go, for anyone who doesn't know, it's free to get in. You, uh, you, they want you to do a donation to, to, to a charity that they have and everything is cool, but it's, you don't have to, it's free if you want to. And um, at the end of the tour, which is very short, you sit there in like a, like a little kind of bar room and they pass around pictures with a little sample glass and you can try whatever they feel like giving out. It's always butter and then one to two others, depending. Yeah. And uh, one time I was there, it was uh, getting close to the holiday season and they had bam, White ale, which they before, said, so after it was already discontinued. Oh yeah, right? way after it was discontinued. Yeah. Yep, and they said they were, they were thinking about bringing it back in the spring. I was like, oh cow, yeah, and they had fezzy wig, and I got to have a bunch of it because the, the people who were with us at, at the table weren't, weren't even drinking. So me and my brother basically drank almost three pitches to our heads in like twenty minutes. Yeah, <laughs> and and that one it was, awesome. but fezzy so. Fuck yeah. And two, it was uh, the, the white ale. The white ale was awesome. I think it was, it was, I'm pretty sure it was fezzy. It was awesome. Whatever. I'm pretty sure it was fezzy. But it was definitely the white ale. And like when it was coming to them, I was like, oh shit, I hope they don't want any of this one because they didn't want any of the Boston longer. And that picture, they took a little sample, like a little bit. The picture came right back to the back of the table and we just fucking guzzled that. It was awesome. So good. Yes. Anyway, dumb story. Yeah. But <laughs> let's open this. Yes. Hey, we're happy everyone's watching our show today. Yes, um, we are. So check out nerdsense.net. <laughs> From there, you can get to Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. I don't even know what I'm doing. You can totally screw me up. YouTube and all of our social media places. But yes, thank you for watching. That's how you can get to all of our stuff. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> so what are we using for glass beer here, Sean? Ooh, yes. This is the best part. This is a Sam Adams Perfect Pint Glass. Spiegel style, courtesy of that man right there. I bought a four pack and I knew I didn't need four of them. <laughs> so, yep. So, just like I do with anything I need to offload, I call Sean. <laughs> Knowing you piss off, I'm happy about it, but <laughs> <laughs> that's right. So, look at that. Oh, it's so freaking gorgeous. Look at that, John. It's gorgeous. And just uh, like the the nucleation at the bottom with the oh, you can't really see it on camera, but yep. it's pretty in person. It's gorgeous. It's actually lighter looking than it looks on camera. It's almost yeah, yours looks like way darker. Mine's mine's closer to what it looks like in person, I think. Yeah. But um, yeah, this is it's a gorgeous looking beer. Yeah. And I got about a finger and a half, almost two, oh, just about two fingers ahead. I poured um, fairly aggressively with mine, but then again, my my gla my glass probably isn't clean. So, <laughs> <laughs> this beer is five point eight percent. It doesn't say spices. Uh, yeah, it just says holiday spices. Yeah, probably just some liquid they poured in. Just saying. Yeah. Anyway, Good notes. Good notes. <laughs> I mean, it it has it has a nice um like yeasty sort of a yeasty vibe. Um, yeah. Like a like estery fruity kind of thing going, um, got um a lot of like it's like nutmeg, like uh, a little bit of clove maybe, lots of yeah clove. There's a little bit of banana. There's a little, a little bit of banana. banana. It's definitely yep. like Belgian wit style. Yep. It's not like overpowering. It's it's definitely like you're a very white ale kind of deal. But I mean, 
it's definitely like it's definitely trying to be something that is uh like european but a little probably a little more um like uh quaffable for the american palate yeah i yeah i i i i, I get where you're going with that but um, yeah it's just it definitely, all these sweet esters and just yeah, it's just i guess some citrus citrus peel in there too almost like um yeah. i don't know if orange but just sort of like citrusy kind of a vibe yeah, it's it's the most non-offensive beer I think I've ever smelled. It's yeah. just it just smells delicious. <laughs> like 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 if someone didn't drink beer and smell this, they're like, oh, this isn't a beer. <laughs> the thing too is like this is to me. I mean, I know it has the, the the spices and stuff. This is like infinitely like summer drinking because it's just late and yeah. ridiculous and yeah, yeah. Want right. to taste? Good. Yes. Cheers. Cheers, sir. Yeah, see, that's really good. <laughs> I like that beer. It's really good, no. And it's not a knock. Like, <laughs> like it's I, 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 I feel like the way we're like framing this entire conversation is, and maybe it, it, it's, it's not fair to Sam Adams. I, I feel like we're framing it like you shouldn't like Sam Adams in a way. You know what I mean? Like, but, but that's oh, not no, the case because no. Yeah. But and I wanted to come off like that because this is a really good beer. Sam at Boston Lager is still one of my favorite like core beers ever. Oh yeah. I, I also <laughs> think. Um, I think that they're sort of an overlooked brewery because I know they're not like um, quite. Um, they're not quite macro, but they're pretty macro. They're <laughs> like, pretty big. They're, there's nowhere on earth. I mean, I guess nowhere in the States that you can't find their beer. I mean, any, any yeah. even bad little bottle shops that you just have just your cores and Miller, you're gonna find a six pack of Sam in there probably. You know. Um, yep. What what I. What I think, I think that they sort of try to mass market their stuff and that kind of alienates a certain crowd. Yeah, that's a good point. I, I mean, as far as like, I mean, obviously it's mass marketed, but I mean, as far as mass appeal. So like, the, like some of the stuff may, may not come off as um, powerfully overdone if you want. But if you're looking for something that's just kind of smashable, it's, it's kind of hard to beat a lot of their stuff. And I think that's part part of my problem is I'll I'll walk by them like in the cooler and usually only I'll I only bought this because I bought the mix pack for for Christmas which which is what I do every year but I haven't bought regular Sam in forever for just to have you know what I mean? Yeah, I I, I the only reason why I bought this is because Reed was talking about it in the chat you know, mm. a few weeks ago and I I already had a twelve pack before so I mean <laughs> don't yeah. mistake but I was that's probably like my Sam purchase of the of the you know, not the calendar yeah. year, but like say, I don't buy that much. But you know, honestly, I, I was happy to buy another one. I really like them. Like there, there's something about um, this is like a beer you can have like a few of that isn't gonna like kind of put you off. You know, yeah. You know, all of my all of my favorite beers, if I have like more than one or two of like, oof, like just gets to be too much in them. No, this is definitely a, a, a multiple multiple bottle beer you can do. Yeah, um, we didn't really talk about the flavor at all. We just I was just thinking else. that there's it. Yeah. It's it's delicious. It's like a very light mouthfeel. It's got citrus notes. You have those those holiday spices are there. Yeah, but you could easily drink this on a summer day too. This isn't necessarily like a something you're gonna drink only during winter. Um, and it leaves this lovely like kind of orangey citrusy sweetness kind of on your palate. Um, that that that's not cooling cool, sweet, but then it also lets you know you're drinking a beer because it also has that beer taste. You know what I mean? Yeah. I actually, um, you know, generally when I drink these at home, I'm just kind of putting them back and I'm watching a movie. Or... Yeah. Now that I'm kind of thinking about the beer, like I'm actually liking it even more. Yeah. And um, one of the things I'm really liking about it is how actually overwhelmingly yeasty it is. It, it, you don't think of yeasty beers coming out of uh out of sam but this is like like nice and like um just has that that um that those sort of yeasty kind of free kind of esters that are coming out yeah. that are, that are just you know wow, it's really really nice and and, and so you said it's a soft mouthfeel it just goes down really easy it's it's just it's you know it's good to have around when you have family you don't want around facts you can put them down and you're not going to embarrass yourself right away. You'll be, you'll just gradually right. get to that point. 
gradually. <laughs> yeah, I think after like for five, bordering on on six percent. Yeah, that could it could get dangerous after a six pack. Probably. Maybe. Yeah, probably. um yeah let us know in the comments if you've had sam adams holiday white ale what you think of it um is it your go-to kind of uh holiday beer do you guys do you do you pick it up in bulk in six packs or 12 packs do you only get it in the mix packs um let us let us know down in the comments what you think of it what's your favorite sam adams beer and for me it's probably going to be i always say fezzy but i I feel like i say fezzy because it's like one time a year you know what i mean Mm -hmm. and now and now they canceled that too just like the white ale but before that it was the white ale the white ale was freaking great yeah yeah if i had to pick a favorite that's still available boston lager boston lager yeah the black lager was so weird remember when they made remember remember the black lager and then and they always sold it at at, at that really um janky um the one right now sketchy near my old apartment yeah yeah, but I, I they had that for years. I'm pretty sure those are just old. <laughs> yeah, of course. Well, they used to also like like you used to see like you could tell that they broke up cases because there would be six packs of Corona, but there weren't Corona in the six packs. It was like something else. Yeah. <laughs> so that, it was... Another thing that you used to be able to get there that you couldn't get really in a lot of places was the Boston Ale. I was just thinking the Boston Ale too. I haven't had that in a while, actually. That's great beer. I, I don't mm. even know if they still make it. I, I mean, I love it though. It's sort know. of like a it's like a full bodied sort of version of the lager it's similar yeah but just it's a little more pet it's good yeah beer. i mean yeah we should do a sam yeah. adams episode sometime uh I'll yes understand. we have i think we have a stout down down here too yeah we should just do a whole sam adams live stream where we just drink we just i was actually thinking last night this video is already way too long but whatever um just going through the whole gamut of the holiday mix pack without with the, like not the core like don't don't do Boston Lager. Don't do Sam 76. Do this. Do winter. Do the holiday porter. And even the American IPA, because I feel like I think the American IPA is strictly for that mixed pack. American I'll buy one this week. I'll buy one well, this then week. I'll have, well, then I'll have to buy one. No, I, no, I won't. Because I have all of them except because this this one's well, well, do you want to do it in one show or we'll, we'll discuss it off air. Um <laughs> thanks everyone for, for for watching again let, let us know down in the comments let us know if you want to see the full gamut of the holiday mix pack and um i'm john i'm mike and this is this nerd, is nerd. <laughs> i messed it up <laughs>